All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, here to do a uh, new review. Just got in a uh, brand new piece. Uh, the Sideshow exclusive. Uh, Joe Colton from G.I. Joe Retaliation. Um, just came in today, unboxed it. So uh, thought I'd go ahead and put up a review. Notice there's really not many reviews out there. I'm guessing that's uh, likely because probably a lot of people are passing on the figure. Uh, yeah, the movie wasn't really uh, groundbreaking, so I can understand that. Um, I'll talk you through uh, just a briefly reason I picked them up. Uh, I am collecting the line. Uh, I'm a big G.I. Joe fan, so uh, we'll be going uh, going ahead and collecting uh, most of the line. Uh, still not sure about uh, Storm Shadow, but that's besides the point. Uh, one of the main reasons that uh, I just picked this piece up is uh, Sideshow had the spooktacular event uh, leading up to Halloween, and uh, they were giving out codes for uh, rewards points, so I was able to snatch up a bunch of those. I was able to pick up this piece uh, at a uh, pretty good discount. So came direct from Sideshow, came in today, and uh, here's the review. Uh, so we'll start from the bottom up. Obviously, you get a standard hot toy stand, and then uh, we'll go from there. Nice uh, combat boots, as you can see there. They got some weathering on there where they're scuffed up at the edge. Uh, as you go up get the uh, knee pad uh, drab green uh, BDU uniform it's a nice dark green color uh, I do use the uh, the light on my camera so it may be coming across lighter than it actually is in person it is a pretty dark green uh, then you went into the uh, the combat belt um, standard type full leather uh, you notice a lot of nice little buttons and stitching on the uniform it does have a zipper as well black t-shirt and then the uh, the head sculpt itself uh, some people are picking up the uh, the head sculpt alone to do their you know their die hard bashes and, and whatnot and that's uh, that's cool uh, I did want the full figure uh, so that's what I went with and uh, I know they have a knockoff on uh, eBay that a lot of people have been picking up. It's basically a recast of this. Um, that's fine if you want to go that route too. But uh, I will say, I'm not sure if my camera's going to pick up the greatest detail in this sculpt, but the paintwork in here is really something special. I could just about start to make out some of the detail, uh, aside from the sculpt with the, the wrinkles. But you could see the uh, age spots, and you could tell that you know he's really clean shaven. But you could also see where the beard would have been—that slight shadowing. It's not a five o'clock shadow, but you know, I guess as you get older and you shave, you still got that shadow of where the hair is, and that also follows through into the the hair sculpt. Try and capture it just about make it out really fine detail really really well done there nice nice paint apps eyes are beautiful uh, paint work on those two I mean you can definitely see Willis right there I mean that that's the man great sculpt So there we go with that. Uh, go into uh, a bit of the articulation. I'm not really an articulation guy, so just kind of pointed out it's it's fully articulated. Uh, there is uh, kind of like a Frankenstein body that Hot Toys put together, where it's uh, you know your standard true type legs, which is you know fully posable, double jointed elbows, and all of that. 
uh, knees. Uh, the torso has uh, got the basically the Wolverine torso, the TTM-19, uh, but it's got uh, fully articulated uh, arms, so it's got double jointed elbows, so you're able to get a full full bend. Um, articulation is real smooth on this figure. It's not super tight. It's not loose. Everything moves pretty well. Um, the, the weapons and the accessories that come with this figure are a real nice selling point aside from the, uh, the, the head sculpt. Uh, as you'll know that there was a few exclusives up this year. The exclusive uh, Evil Superman, the Battle Damage Iron Man, the uh, Star Spangled Captain America, and this one. Uh, all of those are figures we pretty much are second and third, fourth releases. So this one is an all new, it's a fresh character, it's a new sculpt. Uh, everything here is new, new equipment. Um, the the machine gun, I'll take it out of his hand to give you a better look at it, is a uh, scar machine gun. Uh, see if I can get in on some of the detail on this. Uh, a lot of a lot of working features. The uh, sights. Let's get this in focus. Sights move up. The uh, scope slides back and forth. That front uh, sight also comes up. This side has got some interesting detail. You'll notice. We can pick it up. It's got writing throughout the uh, the piece. Serial numbers, makes. Uh, you can just make it out there. It's really hard to film because it's printed in white on a beige or a tanned background. So that's not all coming across that that clearly. But you could also see that you know it's got weathering, the handle, um, the clip does remove. Really uh, nice work. Um, you get writing up in here too. Can't really read it, but I'm sure it's all there. So that's the uh, the scar machine gun. That's the main machine gun that comes with the guy, uh, the figure. Then you get the shotgun. Some nice detail on this. Uh, you can see how it's painted with the metal parts. Got a nice gloss to them. Uh, the butt does extend. Um, a lot of moving parts here. So, that's a really nice piece there. There's no sling for it like there is with the scar, but it's not a big deal. Uh, he also has on him the uh, 245s, removable clips. Uh, one thing to note... Uh, the only other review I've seen on this, um, pointed this out. I'm not sure if I could recreate it, but the, uh, the bullet is actually removable from the clip. Well, kind of hard to do it one hand, but you could see that it's actually starting to move there. So that's removable. Nice little touch there that they added. Um, and then there's a special gun, the one that he gives over to the rock. Um, it's got like an ivory handle. Again, the slides move, the hammer moves, the clip removes, the bullet removes from the clip. So really can't ask for much more than that in detail in a 1-6 figure. Uh, there's also the uh, holster for that. I have not attached it to the figure yet. Uh, it's basically just right out of the box, so I haven't really set them all up yet. Just wanted to do a uh, review, show you guys uh, what you might be missing out on.
by passing on this figure. Um, and then he comes with three complete sets of hands. Uh, the two trigger hands are on him. Then he's got the gripping hand, the fisted hand. These two hands come on him. Remove them. They're just relaxed hands. And then he also comes with the uh, extra clips and uh, clip holsters as well as uh, an extra magazine holster and two beaner clips uh, for the back of the belt. I'll show you that where that goes. Goes right back here. So overall, uh, pleasantly surprised with the figure. Really, uh, really nice. Very well done. Uh, it's a solid piece. It's a nice collectible. Uh, if you're looking for a Bruce Willis figure, high-end Bruce Willis, um, this is definitely a great way to go. So that's about all I can say about that. Uh, not too in-depth on the reviews. Uh, try to cover as much as I can here. Uh, but as you can see, you know the. The head sculpt, that's the uh, the main piece and does not disappoint. Uniform outfit to cut and sew. All really nice, really well done. Kind of pan back to give you an overall look of the figure. Uh, I guess the only other thing is, I'm not going to go too far into this, but the box itself. Joe exclusive G.I. Joe retaliation picture of Bruce Willis on the, the cover. <coughs> That's a slip cover. Then you get the inner box and then the inner tray, which everything is removed, is the extra hand pegs. It does come with instructions. So that's uh, the G.I. Joe, Joseph Colton figure in a nutshell. Uh, I do recommend them. Uh, I say pick them up if you're a fan of Bruce Willis or G.I. Joe. Uh, definitely not a must-have figure. I mean, this is something that obviously a lot of people are going to pass on for reasons that the movie itself wasn't so great um, and you know the character that he portrays in this is it's a good character but you know it's not well known it's not so much iconic and there's definitely a lot out there to choose uh, from but this is uh, this is what I went with out of all the exclusives I was I was really considering getting the exclusive uh, evil Superman um, it's a nice figure but I feel like I already own it with the original release so uh, still not 100% sold on that if that was a new sculpt I probably would have would have went that route but as it is as it stands uh, it's a this here is a solid release I do recommend it. And uh, that's about all. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, till next time. Catch you later.